The unique formation of these islands occurred after the Ice Age as the polar ice caps melted and sea levels rose, separating the land from the rest of Central America. The Bocas del Toro archipelago is home to 9,000 inhabitants. Each year, 300 scientists visit the research station to explore the natural environments and find themselves among the fascinating array of human culture. His work revealed a hotbed of evolution, and it was this connection that launched the first of many scientific expeditions in the area. Regular visits from the Smithsonian and Focus started with a paleontological research project from Director Emeritus Anthony Coates in the 90s. His work focused on the rise of the Isthmus of Panama. In 1998, the property of the research station was purchased and the building of a marine field station was started with a small reception house and dormitory building to host scientific visitors. It was completed in 2001, followed by the laboratory in 2003. The house was designed to be environmentally friendly by featuring natural lighting, the use of sustainable harvested hardwood, and a rainwater collector. As the station grew, more and more visiting scientists arrived to conduct research, and to manage these movements, a director was needed. With them, new facilities were built. After years of improvement, it is now an accomplished tank system for ocean acidification experiments. The location of the station has a synergetic effect on the communities in the area. People from Bocas del Toro that work in the station provide their local knowledge and acceptance within the community. An outreach program of STRI organizes regular cleanups on the beach and has created many school programs to improve the understanding of the local ecosystems and environmental impact. Today, the research conducted at the station has faced the increase in anthropogenic impacts within this area. The fact that humans are exploiting the ecosystems and destroying the environments is a global problem. However, the Smithsonian Research Station and its scientists are eager to find solutions and work in strong cooperation with the locals to maintain the unique habitats of Bogus del Toro. <laughs>